All right, cutting across now to CBI raids on Satyapal Malik, former Jammu and Kashmir governor Satyapal Malik under CBI lenses on an alleged uh, scam of nearly 2,200 crores with regards to a hydroelectric project. Search is currently underway and premises related to Satyapal Malik and the Kiru hydroelectric power project. Probe agency has conducted searches at 30 locations and that's currently on uh, in Delhi, Gurgram and few other locations Raids uh, as Satyapal Malik right now fires at the BJP and the senior leadership, calling uh, as you know almost firing a jibe of dictator at the government. In fact, he says that uh, the dictator is using government agencies to harass me. Congress has come in support of Satyapal Malik, alleges that he is being raided for exposing Anil Ambani. The grand old party called him called Anil Ambani Modi's big best friend. Munish Pandey joining us live for more on that. Munish, go on. Satyapal Malik uh, alleged uh, corruption in a hydroelectric project, which uh, the Kiru hydroelectric project, which the CBI suspects that he could have a role. His links, uh, 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 those who are associated with him are being raided extensively, almost a blanket raid on him and his associates across 30 locations. Tell us more on what the CBI may have found. That's true, Nabila. At least 29 premises in multiple states are being searched as we speak by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Eight of uh, premises are linked to Satyapal Malik in Delhi NCR and those premises are also being searched. What uh, the Central Bureau of Investigation is maintaining at this point of time is that during the investigation of the Kiru hydroelectric power project, they got to know about certain manipulations, certain manipulations in the tendering process and based on the fresh evidence, they decided to conduct searches not only uh, at the private farm, people associated, associated with private farm, but also uh, uh, on Satyapal Malik. And these searches are going to be extremely important because this is the second time within a month when the Central Bureau of Investigation has decided to conduct searches. The CBI also maintains that they have recovered some incriminating documents pertaining to investigation in the case. As far as Satyapal Malik is concerned, he has been denying all the allegations at this point of time. But CBI maintains that based on fresh evidence, they are carrying out these searches. All right, Munish, thanks very much for joining us on that.